What is up, guys? It's Tyree Zach again. All right, what do we got here, man? So, basically, we're going to do unboxing of some early Christmas presents because I got back from college, right? I've had a good weekend. I got myself a girlfriend and stuff like that, you know? Kind of, in a way. And, uh, girlfriend at my college, you know? Anyways, now, um, hey, Dex, how are you doing, man? Okay, so we're gonna unbox four records and a Funko Pop. Let's do a Funko Pop first, man. Twin Peaks. This is uh, Dale Cooper, the main character from Twin Peaks. One of the greatest shows of all time, in my opinion. Easily my favorite drama. Uh, maybe unless you count Evangelion as a drama than that. But uh, let's see here. Funko Pop. I like these guys. I think they're cute. Got a problem with that, man? Fuck you. I like them. Now, anyways. It's Dale Cooper. It's uh, Agent Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks. It's a good show. Really, it's kind of one of its kind. Really trippy. And it's creepy. It's like a crime show, but it's also like a horror show. And it's like science fiction all wrapped in one. It's really, really good. It's like a one of a kind. There's not another show like it. It's really good. Um, anyways, I guess we'll do X Military first. I've been liking this album a lot lately. At least it's like... I grew out of this, now I'm growing back into it. It's honestly one of my favorite Def Grips releases again, which is good. I think the memes kind of drew me off for a bit. For a bit. Not gonna lie. All right, uh, let's see how. Shit, and I already ripped the thing. This is a bootleg, by the way. And for a bootleg, the packaging is actually really nice for a bootleg. Obviously, because I can't get the original copy because the original copy is much too rare. And, uh, it's a really good mixtape, probably my favorite mixtape of all time, if I had to say. So creepy, and it's probably their most humorous release, I'd probably say. One of their most humorous releases, if you can call it that. <laughs> Samples and stuff like that. It's an interesting backstory behind it as well. Um, I think Beware is probably one of their best, probably their best opener. I'd honestly probably say either that or up my sleeves. And there's, what pisses me off, there's a freaking dent somewhere here. And it fucking makes it skip, which is upsetting. I don't like it. Okay, oh well. But, yep, ex-military. Easily the greatest mixtape of all time, in my personal opinion. Yeah, fucking time. Yeah, fuck, damn it. And one of, easily one of Death Grip's best releases as well. I finally realized that again. So, proud of me? I mean, I always liked ex-military, but I think I'm liking it a lot more recently. Even though I grew out of it originally, but now I love it again. Because after they played Beware, when I saw them play Beware live at uh, in Atlanta, I've been loving this mixtape again. thought I needed to get it. Anyways, uh, Remain in Light by Talking Heads. Let me tell you about this freaking rapping thing, man. Alright, so I saw it was a freaking... Um, what this is, it was just like a freaking wrapping, resealable wrap, but this thing is so freaking ugly, man, I'm probably not even going to use this, man, what, but Remaining Light by Talking Heads, easily one of the best albums of the 80s, easily one of the best new wave albums, I really easily, I love this album so much, there's so much stuff in it, so it's funky and all this shit, you know, it's got great lyrics in it. Great runtime. All the tracks are great. It's almost like it gets more heavily experimental as it goes on, almost. This is a beautiful cover thing, by the way. I'll show you it again. There we go. It's beautiful, man. It's really cool looking, isn't it? The planes on the back. Yeah. Let's put this back in here, man. You even got a lyric sheet for it. Even though the, the, the lyrics aren't in the right... The track list isn't in the right order on that for whatever reason. And this is produced by Brian Enu. And speaking of Brian Enu, we got the best Brian Enu album, Another Green World. One of my favorite albums of the 70s. And easily Brian Enu's best. Such a beautiful album. Yet it's almost late at first starts and almost kind of sounds like a David Bowie thing. And then it goes into this beautiful instrumental ambience and electronic music and all this stuff. Some of the 
instrumental one here are just beautiful and uh, arguably some of the best stuff on here. Not saying the vocalist stuff isn't good, but he he's a really good producer. Like are easily one of the best producers of all time in my opinion. Brian Eno is incredible. If you haven't heard his music, check it out now. Now or else I'll eat you. Okay. No joke. Fucking Jeffrey Dahmer up in here, man. Okay. So, we got Static Age by The Misfits. One of the best. Well, this is an archival release. It was supposed to be released in uh, their first album. And Darkman430, I've collaborated with him a lot. He likes Danzig a lot. But, it's a shame. I don't know if he's heard The Misfits. And Misfits are by far better than Danzig in Dan 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 every single way. He doesn't realize that yet. I think he likes Danzig a little too much, I'm not going to lie. But that's alright with me. Misfits are great. Static Age is easily one of my favorite punk albums. And it technically was released in the 90s, but it was intended to be their first album. So, I don't know, you can call it a 90s album, you can call it an 80s album. But in my opinion, it's easily the Misfits' best release. And also this cover thing's kind of interesting, because actually my roommate really likes Godzilla. And it's like King Kong though, but it's a uh, has things from horror films and stuff like that in the background, which is interesting. And uh, first King Kong is actually one of my favorite monster movies. Actually, I think I prefer it over every Godzilla movie. I'm not gonna lie. But um, anyways, that's pretty much it. Have a good Christmas break. See ya.